Hi everyone, it's Denilyn, and today I'm going to show you guys how to put an image on an object so that it surrounds the object. And it's uh, how to use image texture in Blender. That is what I'm doing, showing you how to use image texture. So we're going to make this. So bring up Blender, and this should be what you get for the very first scene. Go ahead and delete the lamp, because we're not going to need that. So you right-click on it and then tap X on your keyboard and delete. We're going to right click on the cube to select it and then press S to scale and just drag our mouse button until we make it a little bigger. So we're just gonna leave the camera right there for now. It's not in the way. We're gonna come over here and pull this panel out and come to the materials right here. See how it's like it looks like this? That's not what we want. We want to come up here to Blender Render, click it, and then click Cycles Render. And then we come here and click Use Nodes. And then right here at the color, we're going to click this right here. Oops. Click it, and then you come and you find Image Texture. And you click that. And then you get these options. So you're going to click Open. And you're going to find the picture or texture that you want. The texture that I'm using, I made in a in on on an online uh, free editor photo editor. I am going to put the link to the blog post where you can get it for yourself if you want. Plus all of my other textures, you can download them, copy them off my blog or whatever for free. But once you click on the, the one that you wanted, let me try to do that again and just walk you guys through it. You click open, you go to wherever you have stored your picture, and you click on it. You find it, you click on it, and then you click open image. And it's on there now, but if you go to rendered, this is what it looks like. Also, if you go to world and make it the world completely white, then you can get a better look. So it's not working. And that is not, obviously, not what we want. So to fix this, we are going to use nodes. So we're going to pull this panel up here, and we're going to come over here to the current editor type, and we're going to go to node editor right here. We're going to zoom in and press Shift A. Then go to Texture, not Texture, Oops. Input, and Texture Coordinate. And click on it. Or you could type it in the search box if you wanted. And then you click on Generated, and drag it down, and attach it to Vector. And that's almost right, but not quite. We want it to look like this on all sides. So we come to the image texture, and where it says flat, we click box. And there you go. That's it. So now you can go back to timeline, pull this down. You can even make this a little bit smaller if you want. Press 0, and then press N, because we're going to lock the camera to view. So you just scroll down in this panel until you find lock camera to view, and you check that box. Press N to close that panel. Slide out until you have the box where you want it. And you can move the camera around by pressing the middle mouse button or also known as the scroll wheel. You can press shift and then hold down the middle mouse button to move around like this. And once it's positioned the way you want it, you come over here to this camera picture, which is the render section. I like to bring the resolution up to 100. And since this is such a quick, easy uh, image, 
You don't have to render it higher than 128, but if you want to, you can. You can render it as high as you want, but you really don't have to. Uh, here in light sampling, I like to make it 1. Enter. And if you're happy with the render at 128 pixels, then you just come on up here and press render. And when that's done rendering, you should have this. And that is how you add an image texture to an object in Blender. And that's it. Bye.